Now to our top story. Georgetown police need help tracking down a man they say is behind a multi-state crime spree. They say he ran off after jumping out of a car during a police chase on Interstate 75 last night. Police did arrest two other people in the car. We begin tonight with Monique Blair. She's in Georgetown with a story that's first on Fox. Georgetown police tell me the three suspects who were in that car Wednesday night are wanted for several home burglaries in Ohio, but also for several burglaries here in Berea, Richmond, Lexington, Harrison County, and also Bourbon County. The chase started in Grant County on I-75 South. Police say the pursuit went on for 20 miles and the driver, 20-year-old Christopher Wooten, drove in and out of traffic, nearly striking several police cars. Once in Georgetown, officers deployed spike strips and eventually stopped the vehicle. Police say Wooten and the two passengers jumped out of the vehicle and ran across all lanes of traffic on 75. One passenger, 19-year-old David Scott, was arrested a few minutes later near mile marker 127. The driver was arrested a little more than an hour later. Now Georgetown police are asking for your help finding this man, Kareem Brown. Police say he was the third suspect in that vehicle. He was last seen near mile marker 129 on I-75. You never know who is out there nowadays. It's uh, scary. And I mean, you could walk up to a random person and not know what their background is. The two suspects who were arrested Wednesday night are from Florida, but according to a court affidavit in September, they were responsible for burglarizing several homes in Hamilton County, Ohio, including stealing $10,000 worth of jewelry from one of those homes. In Georgetown, Monique Blair for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Police say they don't think Kareem Brown, the man they're looking for, has knowledge of the Georgetown area.